First of its kind law has taken effect in Alabama, which aims to protect children from the dangers of secondhand vaping. The new measure bans the use of e-cigarettes in cars when a child 14 or younger is present. This comes as scientists are finding more evidence that secondhand vape uh, smoke can be toxic, especially inside of confined spaces like a vehicle. Xavier Walton is joining us live right now. Vapors fined 100 bucks if caught now, but uh, exactly how will they enforce this? Well, that's the thing. You got to be caught during another traffic violation. During that traffic violation, they could tack it on. But again, that's a big if. Enforcement's one of the problems that people are really concerned about. But at the end of the day, a lot of people believe this has more to do with the impacts, the negative impacts it has to do on teens and young adults, uh, more so than just a $100 fine. But let's start with that one first of its kind law as of August 1st, so a little more than two weeks now. Um, in Alabama, any driver or passenger who is pulled over for a traffic violation, that's important there, and is vaping with a child under the age of 14 present, they're subject to a penalty. Doesn't matter if the windows are up or down, uh, if you get pulled over for some sort of traffic infraction, and then you're also vaping with that minor in the car, you're supposed to get cited for that too, 100 bucks. The law not only applies to vaping e-cigs, but traditional ones as well. This is important. I don't think people should be doing that, but it's a moral issue. I don't think we can enforce it. I think this is just one of those things that they like to flash at people to get them misdirected from, away from things that really need to be taken care of. One of those things. So across the country, it's not just vaping. According to the Centers for Disease Control, nine states, including California and Illinois, have passed laws prohibiting smoking in personal vehicles when children or adolescents are present. Those are the states you're, you're looking at highlighted on this map. In Vermont, though, the law actually applies to children ages eight or younger, so not even teens. Meantime, just last month, uh, the CDC said that an estimated, this is a lot, one in 10 American adults regularly vape. So on the reg, that's roughly 30 million people vaping. A uh, report from the American Heart Association also revealing some disheartening news about vaping, saying it poses similar risks as normal cigarettes, alarming. That includes secondhand vaping, but of course to a lesser degree. And normally I would stray away from the, the comments, but when you go and read the comments here with this story especially, um, you have a lot of people that are saying either A, this is overreach, um, B, that more states should do it, and then Adrian, Markey, there's also C where people are saying, how are they going to enforce it? You can't even get people to stop, you know, texting and driving. How are you going to enforce this sort of law? Bottom line, Alabama first. Many believe more will follow. Yeah, we were talking earlier. It seems like it, you'd have to be pulled over for something else. And then that was also added on uh, to whatever you were pulled over for. Xavier Walton, I know it's been a mixed bag of reaction. Thanks so much for that update. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.